everyone welcome back to my channel um so guys my baby i think i told you guys already um he's teething and no one told me he'll be doing all these weird things like he is literally biting everything when i say biting everything he's biting everything like everything anything that's anything He's biting everything and he's biting humans. He's biting me. He's biting my mom. He's biting my husband. And it's like, dude, you only got three teeth. <laughs> like, what? No one told me this. Like, we bought the little aura gel. It's like candy to him. It did, it did nothing. Like, he's not a he's not crying. I'm so happy about that. Like, he's a super good baby. He's not crying, you know, when it comes to the teething. He's just literally just I, I, on everything and i think it's so cute but like it got to a point that he started wandering around the apartment and just trying to take a bite out of everything and it got to the point that like my husband said we had to buy a gated community for him so basically my husband and i um since malcolm started uh crawling slash standing and trying to walk and touch everything um he doesn't stay inside his uh, little playpen. Um, so basically, my husband and I, we have to like, we sleep on the floor most of the time. One, the apartment is small and we actually plan on moving soon. And two, like, I don't know, I think he's much more comfortable on the floor. Like we would put him in his little bed in, inside our room and he doesn't sleep in there for long. Maybe like, I'll say like 15 minutes, he'll sleep and then he'll wake up and just start looking around and doesn't want to stay. But if we put him on the floor, he knocks out. That's a real Haitian baby. So most of the time, my husband and I just end up sleeping in the living room on the floor. And we have our little setup right here. So this is what it looks like. So now our little setup has been taken over by his gated community. Because my baby, he moves everywhere. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to move this year, which was our original plan before I got sick. So hopefully we'll be able to move this year and actually move to a much bigger place because we've been in our apartment for like three years. And, um, you know, in the next video, I'll actually give you guys a little tour of what the apartment actually looks like. And, you know, we don't really have that much space since we have this baby now. Um, you know, we have literally baby stuff everywhere. And, you know, my husband and I are just basically just, you know, adjusting to all these little changes that are happening and you know would love it if we were able to give him his own space um but yeah I'd, if anybody has any suggestions on what to do with this teething thing we already tried the little baby aura gel we already tried the little teething toys he would rather chew on a laptop or the couch instead of taking his teething toy um we tried freezing the the teething toy um he just licks it. I guess he thinks it's a popsicle, so he doesn't do that. If anybody has any suggestions on what to do with teething, I would I would greatly appreciate it. So I can let my baby like, you know, roam free when he like crawls versus, you know, putting him in that little gated community. I call it a cage. But we just gonna call it a gated community. You know, to let him roam free instead of staying in there because once he's in there and he feels like we're trapping him, then I have to go in there and play with him. And, it's, you know, I'm stuck in there too with him. So it's like, it's basically our prison. So my husband would just walk around while I'm inside that little playpen with him, like playing around and all that stuff. But like, if y'all have any suggestions, I would greatly appreciate it. And another thing, another reason why I actually came here is one of um, our, my YouTube subscribers actually asked me about uh, headgear that the job gave us um, when I returned back to work and she just wanted to know what it looked like so I actually have a couple of them with me that I actually got a chance to wash so I can actually uh, show it to her to show her what it looks like and also if anybody want any customized masks or um, you know now since masks apparently is the new norm for the time being going out in public you know you can get your mask actually customized and I actually have a, a couple of people that actually customizes masks and you know you can get like a really cool mask with 
you know, really cool designs. If you're interested in that, I'm also going to be showing you about little examples from three different people. And I'm also going to be leaving their information in the bottom. So I'm going to show you a couple examples of the ones that they actually gave us at the job. So it actually looks like this. They come in different designs. Like right here is just basically like a smooth, flat part. That's usually the front. And the back actually has this stretchy part where once you put it in your hair, you know, if you want, you could tie it like from the, the back. Or what I noticed some people are doing is they're tying it from the top, but they're also looping their mask through it. So it can be easier because with the mask, um, it really put a real strain in your your ears and there's another trick that actually one of my co-workers uh, Taught me to do with the mass um, Actually, this is another cloth math that they gave us is someone from the ICU department mother Actually donated a whole bunch of cloth masks that we can wear. So like let's say we have our N95s We could wear it right over it And it's actually um It's actually pretty it's pretty cool Like they gave us a whole lot of cute ones and they have some solid colors that they've been giving us um, my friend Samantha, girl Sam, she actually showed me this trick where you can actually staple a tourniquet on this and you actually wear it, you wear it on your face. So the nurses out there, if you don't have like the little buttons that actually clip on your headgear, you can actually do this little trick and it actually helps with your ears, you know, especially with the, you know, you have to wear the mask all night. You know that trick actually helps um when it comes to wearing your mask so there's other little colors that they gave us a lot of bright colors you know we have orange you know i've got one solid color here that's you know blue it kind of matched my uniform sort of not really but you know i got that so also um our respiratory therapist aline her mom actually made these cute ones for us um, it's about the same, but this one you actually can tie it. Um, you can actually tie it. It has like a little stretchy part back there for your hair. Um, I'll actually be leaving her Facebook information. I don't know if you guys are interested. I'll leave her Facebook information. And it also comes with a, a matching mask to go with it. With also an opening where you can actually put a filter in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Also, another customized mask was actually one of these. This is actually from uh, one of my coworkers, Nigel. Um, if you want to contact him, I'll actually be leaving my email address um, so you can contact him directly. His is actually much more unique versus the other ones because one, it, first of all, it, I didn't know how to put it on at first. And, you know, he gives us the instructions on how to put it on. It's literally flat, but it's really gives you more coverage with this mask. So, you know, it's like, it's kind of like this. So basically, you put your head through here and from here you pull the mask back it gives you more coverage when you're at work and I think that's pretty cool also they have two pockets in here where you which he actually gives you the looks like little N95 filters you actually put in here and each of the pockets so that's another style of mask that um uh my friends actually been um selling and actually been you know, I, I love them. Like, all these designs are pretty awesome. Um, another design is actually from Fabian and Ma. She's actually an awesome African designer that I've had a chance to model for over the years. And she's actually been giving away free headgear for healthcare employees. Um, I don't know if that promotion is still going on. Um, she gives away headgear and masks. So this is how her design looks. It actually comes in different colors. I just love this color because I don't have anything, you know, with that solid purple or anything. So hers is actually much bigger when it comes to the headgear. And, you know, it ties the same. It has a little stretchy part in the back. And it actually covers your hair, your ears, full coverage. And it also comes with the uh, matching mask. You know, with these masks, you know, this one actually covers all the way down, you know, your chin all the way to your face. So when you actually wear the hat, you know, you actually get full coverage and all you really see is just your eyes. And my last one, and it's actually my new favorite one. I got one with my flag on it. I actually got this for Mother's Day, and I love it. I literally wear it everywhere since I got it, literally since yesterday. But I love it. Um, actually, this one came from a designer. Her 
information is actually Carabella Nation. Um, she is an awesome Haitian designer. Uh, actually, she was supposed to have a fashion show May 2nd. Um, I believe that's like her, it was her, her big fashion show um, to basically reveal all her designs and everything. I was actually going to model for her. And unfortunately, with the pandemic, she wasn't able to have this fashion show. So it's actually postponed. And when it actually does happen, I will try to make sure I get some footage so you guys can see all the designs that are happening. But her design is actually pretty cool. You see these strings here. It actually ties so it can fit anyone's face. So you basically tie the string up here both ways. And this one, you know, ties from the back. And it also gives you full coverage with all that. So I haven't worn this one to work, but I know they're going to love this when I go to work because I love it. So I'm going to be leaving her information, um, phone number, Gmail, um, so you guys can be able to order all these things. So all these masks I actually showed you, I'm going to be leaving all their information. If some have social media, they'll also be leaving that so you guys can actually get a chance to get these cool masks because a lot of people have been asking me like you know where are you getting these masks and I'm just like people so I actually made a video so you guys can be able to see this and also don't forget about me with my baby's teething like I need help guys I can't be getting bitten up every single day like <laughs> this isn't life like I wouldn't go over to give him a kiss and I just get bitten and I'm just like thank you papa appreciate it you know, but I'm crying on the inside. But thank you for watching this short little video. You know, I really hope you guys can get some of these cool masks. Cause I love these masks. I don't, I don't know. Like, I just might buy some more. Who knows? But I do have, like, the favorites that I really, really love. Um, I hope you guys can find something that you guys really love. Um, just hit me up if you need anything. And, you know, I'm here. I answer my email. I'm also going to be leaving it in the bottom. And, you know, I answer people down in the comments all the time i'm pretty quick with it because you know it's just me and the baby chilling i don't really got much to do until i go to work but i'm pretty quick answering questions so you know just let me know um i'll be back so like subscribe um i'll be here mm -hmm.